Now we're going to return to matters here at the All England Club. Uh, and the home crowd had early reason to celebrate today with more success in the wheelchair doubles. Fresh from Alfie Hewitt and Gordon Reed's victory yesterday, Jordan Wiley and her Japanese partner Yui Kamiji have won their fourth successive women's doubles title. They came from a set down to beat the second seeds of Marjoline Bose and Dida De Croit winning the final set six love. It's the pair's fourth straight Wimbledon title. This is by far the most special to me because I've been out for eight months struggling with injury. I haven't played with you for a year now and I really did try my hardest and Dida and Marilena are such a strong team. Um, I'm so happy. So, yet another Grand Slam title for Jordan Wiley. Ten in total. That equals the number one by Britain's most decorated wheelchair tennis player, Pete Norfolk. He's been speaking to Gemma Louise Stevenson. You know, when, when uh, we started watching the match, and I, I've watched her during this week, she's had quite a long time off with injuries, and uh, I didn't think she was going to do it, I could be honest. And, uh, and I wasn't being pessimistic, but I didn't think she had the match fitness. But I think what happened, there was a bit of a transition in the match and that the Dutch pair started pummeling Geordie with uh, shots and she basically got grooved and she started slicing her backhand and by the time the third set came out with y Yui behind her it was unbelievable what really gives Jordan the, the, the platform to play on is that her partner Yui Kamiji is just so consistent so committed 100% and her defence was marvellous and she's now equals your uh, Grand Slam achievements, Pete. I mean, how do you feel about that one? No, I don't, I, I don't mind at all. I mean, I, I didn't realise it was a, a, a challenge, if you want, until Geordie started uh, tweeting me. But, you know, it, it's brilliant. You know, they're so young. Gordon, Alfie, Geordie, they're all so young. You know, I started playing when I was 30, for goodness sake. Go back to when you were playing versus what you've witnessed with the crowds and everything on court three, today and yesterday with, with all of the matches. I mean... How different is it right now? Well, we, we, we were, I was playing on Grand Slams and, and progressively the Grand Slams have moved the courts up and it, it does depend on scheduling actually as to what the crowds are like. So, I mean, I played at the US Open when my courts have been rammed, thousands and thousands, then we've played on bigger courts and there's not been much. But that's not because the crowds don't want to be there, it's just that, like today, you got Federer going for potentially history, uh, so it's not surprising. but. Like Gordon said yesterday, you know, what would be fantastic would be to be on the main grandstand courts of all the Grand Slams. You know, we got the talent, we got the speed, we got the power, deter determination, and you know, let's, let's get it out there so everyone can see the showcase specials of wheelchair tennis. After the wheelchair doubles, the men's singles final took place on, cent on court number three. Sweden's Stefan Olsen, who lost in the final a year ago, beat the world number one Gustavo Fernandez from Argentina in three sets to take the title.